I sang that song for more than 60 years, a song of praise to Joseph Smith, the prophet of the restoration and founder of the LDS Church, the church I served as a bishop for five years. I knew the church was true. I was a faithful Latter-day Saint. My life has been built on certain truths, but wishing doesn't change the truth. Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. When I finally learned the truth about the real history and doctrines of Mormonism, I realized that I was following the gospel of Joseph Smith and not the gospel of Jesus Christ. I have come to learn that many others have made a similar journey out of the bondage of religion and into an authentic relationship with Jesus. And that's what this show is all about. Courageous people who wanna share their story hoping that you, the viewer, will discover the same new life in Jesus. So if you're a Latter-day Saint who is struggling with questions or seeking a genuine encounter with the Savior, we invite you to join us tonight. We have a joyful message that we want to share with you. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Ex-Mormon Files. I'm your host, Bishop Earl, and again, I appreciate you watching. And uh, we're back in Salt Lake, for those of you that are keeping track of our uh, ex uh, exploits here. Anyway, I'm so happy today to introduce to you a fine young man, Larry Norris. And he has such an interesting story. It'll, I think it'll draw some things out that maybe we've never talked about before. So, Larry, thanks for coming and sharing your story. Thanks for having me, Earl. Yeah, you, uh, well, that's kind of good. Where were you born? I was born in Mesa, Arizona. Yeah, Yeah. down in, there are a lot of Mormons down there, aren't there? A lot there? of Mormons, yeah. 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 Close to the temple? I mean, I guess you saw that. Uh, yeah, there was two temples. I was 20 minutes away from both of them. There's the Mesa temple. What's the temple. other one? Mesa and Gilbert. Oh, they, Mesa that's temple fairly new, though. Yeah, the Gilbert was just recently built a couple yeah. years ago, so, yeah. And were you born into the church? No, I was a convert. Oh, were you? Yeah. Okay. So your mom and dad, what were they? My dad is actually a Methodist minister, and he is. my mom is a school psychologist. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I guess they took you to church every Sunday and all that? They did. I, I grew up going to church mostly every Sunday. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, <laughs> Now, of course, then you considered yourself a Methodist at this point. Sure, yeah. You Methodist. Know. But, you know, usually when you're... I just usually use the term Christian, never really yeah, you didn't titled it as title. I'm a Methodist. You know, I mean, you, you, so how was that with, uh, and again, you probably went to high school with a lot of young men, or junior high and everything was yeah. with, with LDS. Were yeah. they, uh, did you participate in their scouting program? No, I did didn't. I, uh, um, I didn't really hear about the church until I was late junior high. That's when, when you say you didn't hear about it, you, you well, I didn't know much about it. I didn't yeah. hear it about it. We didn't talk. I didn't hear it talked about. You yeah. know, and Your it was, folks didn't talk, talk no. much about it. How mm -hmm. many brothers and sisters have you got? So I have seven brothers and sisters. Five sisters, two brothers. I'm the eighth one. You're the so, eighth. Yeah. Huh? Wow. Yeah. So uh, that's interesting. <laughs> and are they all uh, Christian? I mean, in the they sense yeah of, they they're all yeah they're all Christian and stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, some go to church more than others, but I mean, yeah. for the most part, we're all classified each other as, we're all considered Christians, right. you know, and we all say we are. And like you're saying, kind of when you're growing up as a young person in your early teens, mm -hmm. it's not something you talk to your friends about necessarily. I mean, not, yeah, not really. You know, hey, yeah. I'm a... I'm a Mormon. Yeah, you don't really talk about your religious. Yeah. yeah, it's not. You're just <laughs> friends, and you yeah. grew up with these some mm -hmm. friends, and eventually they invite you to church. Is that right? Sure. Or yeah. That, so it was it happened about ninth grade when a lot of my friend group I started making a lot of friends who are LDS, yeah. and uh, that's kind of when I was switching groups. I was transitioning from more of like the skater group because I was a skateboarder kid, and <laughs> I started going to uh, <laughs> I started going to the more uh, you know preppy group you know and they were all LDS kids and so yeah and then eventually it just kind of turned into hey like you should come to mutual and I started going to mutual frequently and then camp outs and stuff like that and yeah and your folks were okay with this I guess yeah they were okay they didn't really see the harm the harm in it I yeah. mean they're just oh he's hanging out with his friends kind of mm, thing and okay yeah. and this was up into high school then and so this led up into high school and uh that's kind of where it starts taking off my friend Two of my close friends, we started their LDS. We started talking more about theology and God and kind of up in the air stuff, you know. How, how does that come up? I mean, you just... Well, it's it's kind of, you know, you once you're involved in it 
with, with so long, you know, uh, you just kind of start, those questions start, hey, like, what do you really believe? You know what I mean? What is, what yeah. makes the, your church different from my church in a way, you know, yeah. and thinking. Because and, you were going to your church on Sundays and they were going sure, to, yeah. to theirs. Yeah, Sunday. I was going. And it's funny because although that I was raised in a Christian church, I didn't necessarily, I wasn't real well read up on theology or doctrine. I couldn't really, you know, I just, I believed in Christ. I believed in God, you know, yeah. and that was kind of about it. Could we expand on that just a little yeah. bit? Because I think that applies to every <clears throat> one of us parents that have mm -hmm. children. Uh, don't you think? I mean, I'm sitting there in a meeting with my young children, and mm -hmm. I'm assuming they're hearing what I'm hearing, yeah. and they're processing it the same way I'm processing, mm -hmm. which is a little naive to yeah. think that. But what do you, what do you, how would you, uh, what should parents do? In that kind of situation? To, yeah, for I teens. Mean, I mean, what do you, well, talk about it after church? Sure, and, and, yeah. And, and well, just kind of reinforce. I mean, for me, and kind of what I've observed, it, it just doesn't. I don't think kids are really into it as much as their parents are. Typically, it's kind of like, oh, we're going because <laughs> Just have to mom go and dad because. drove me here and they don't <laughs> let me sleep in the Sunday, you know. But um, I think it's kind of more of, yeah, like kids are just kind of going just to go. And, you know, you have kind of the social parts of it that you like, like youth group. Yeah. And you know what I mean? And yeah. mission trips and stuff. Right. And, uh and does that help? I mean, do you... I mean, sure. I mean, I think it teaches you a sense of community and stuff, which is, I think it's really good. And, and you um, almost, and I probably didn't do this either, but mm -hmm. you don't really say to yourself, well, this is what I believe. Yeah. Do you, do you say that to yourself? Kind of, well, I mean, I not, believe this because you, you not know, really, yeah. and it's weird because I think, I mean, it's hard for me to say this for the LDS church because I didn't grow up LDS, but I think they're more, you know, hey, like, this is what we believe, and they more state it, you know, whereas for more me, reinforced. it was more reinforced, yeah, yeah. you know, and you have to, you know, like, fast and testimony Sundays, you know, oh, just you go up, and, and I know the church is true, I know, just, you know what I mean, and yeah. for me, growing up as in the Methodist church, as a Christian, it wasn't like that, it was, you know, we just kind of went, we read biblical stories, we, yeah. you know what I mean, we did some of these Jesus coloring books, you know, what yeah. I mean? it was kind of like that, and it wasn't, you know, I would say when we started learning about stuff was when I went through confirmation, and I'm trying to and think. And what age is that? is that? Oh, I don't even. I was. I think I was in sixth or seventh grade. I'm trying to think. So twelve or thirteen, maybe. Okay. And uh, I mean, that's kind of where you start learning more doctrinal stuff. You know, I had to learn the Lord's Prayer. You know, Our Father in Heaven. Yeah. Be that. Yeah. And um, and you know, and I think you kind of briefly learned about John Wesley, the founder of the Methodist Church, and stuff, and. Start learning more about more it. about more yeah over. more about the church and what kind of would the they talk about baptism at this point? I think they did. I, I'm trying to. Do they baptize you at that age, or do they so still was, let you be baptized? Yeah, when you want to later on. No, in the Methodist Church, typically, I mean, you can get baptized whenever you want, but typically, the parents will baptize you as a young a baby. So I was baptized as a baby. Oh, okay. In the Methodist Church, yeah. So well, we won't get into that logic because I'm not sure I understand yeah. that what very well. But yeah, so that um, starts that out. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, and that's so. to, of course to wash away the sin of Adam. And I guess is, sure. Is yeah, I mean point. honestly, I can't really support the doctrine <laughs> of that. I'm not real well read in the well Methodist read. churches and doctrines and stuff. But well, anyway, I just think yeah. it's interesting that we, as I said before, you know, mm -hmm. I raise my children, and yeah. it's interesting how what I just assumed they were hearing and what yeah. what they actually heard or cared to even And what hear they actually about. processed, I guess. Because yeah, I remember sitting in, in like the Sunday services and I'm just like, you know, falling asleep because to me it just didn't grab me, you know. Yeah, and sure. It's funny too. I remember, I think it was my mom. I remember saying, telling my mom, like, this is so boring stuff. She said, I remember her actually saying that. She said, one day it will mean something to you. Oh. Which is really interesting because now you know it, it does. So, so she, well, that was a good approach, though, to say, well, eventually yeah. someday it will mean something. Yeah, I so understand. Kinda... Understand that it doesn't mean everything yeah. to you right now. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. Yeah. Well, so you get into high school further, and yeah, so I get into high school, and then that's when my friends were kind of we were talking more about God and theology, and my friend goes, "Oh, you should start taking the missionary lessons because you know what? I can't really teach you. Missionaries can really teach you." And I'm like. Yeah, sure. You know, I'm open to it, learning. <laughs> you just, and what, what were you thinking? Just like, well, just, it's just... Yeah, I just thought... Because you'd been hearing about now maybe the I know. The well, at this years, point, I was kind of... I was popping into church in and out, you know. Yeah. And I was going to like every mutual, you know, I was in, I was involved in all the activities yeah. and stuff. And um, yeah, so... So you sat down for the missionary So I lessons? sat down with the missionaries, most awkward thing in my life. It was so weird because, you know, because they're just kind of sitting like this and you're like, how do I sit? You're like, <laughs> uh, White hey. shirts and ties and... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And yeah, so, but 
I remember the first lesson they asked me to be baptized, and I'm like, I don't even know anything about you guys. <laughs> what? And then um, it was kind of a process, and you know, all my friends at this point were predominantly LDS. You know, so, I still had a Christian. I mean, it's not Christian friends necessarily, but I still had other friends that were, yeah. you know, not religious. And I don't know. And um, it was like a year process of of studying of having yeah because i didn't want anybody to i wanted to make the decision for myself i didn't want to be pressured into that decision i was i told myself if i'm going to do this i'm going to i'm going to do it on my own you know and so it was like lesson after lesson we would redo the lessons like over and over yeah we oh gosh it was crazy how many times did you go through the lesson oh probably eight eight nine (laughs) ten eleven twelve it was a lot yeah each lesson same lessons over like six of them are there yeah, like there's used to be, but yeah, there's yeah something they like that. They take it repeated. Yeah, so just get them repeated, and then the half of my towards the end of my senior year, half of it, I was in seminary. Yeah, and I loved it. It was great. Yeah. It was oh, awesome. Yeah. yeah, it was. They were studying the Book of Mormon, and it was great. And then so, so you read the Book of Mormon, did you? Yeah, you, I read the Book yeah. of Mormon and stuff, and I thought it was cool. And I, I couldn't say I believed it was true, but it wasn't like oh, I know it's true, you know? Yeah. It wasn't like that. So, did you share any of this with your family at this um, point along was, the way? It was pretty personable, per- personal to me. To I you. didn't really. I wasn't, wasn't didn't involve them. Yeah, much. I, I, my dad and I would talk about it, but it wasn't. It wasn't really open. Yeah, and I they were okay out. with you studying and. Yeah, and they looking. they liked me in seminary. They didn't really mind it. They yeah. they were supportive in that. And then, it came to a point where, although I believed in a lot of things in the church, there were still like little things that. I had troubles with like, like what like god saying to joseph smith all the other churches are an abomination uh-huh. like i could not i was i couldn't see god saying that I'm like what <laughs> you know and i just so like stuff like that was i couldn't you know get over that but i it was kind of little stuff i'm like okay i'll throw it aside you know and yeah it was interesting because I still had these like little issues and like becoming a god one day. I didn't really see that, that one. Didn't click well it didn't either. click well. I was like, that'd be cool, I guess, but you know, I don't really see it happening. And where and, you read that in the Bible? Huh? Yeah, exactly. I'm yeah. like, that's new. But um, <laughs> and uh, anyway, so it just came to a point where it was God told me I really believe this. God told me to be, like join the church. And I said, "Why? You know, just I just had a good feeling about it." No, it just... was it was all like intellectual. It was okay. it was so a this is voice. the right thing to do. Yeah, yeah, and I said, "Why?" You know, and it was kind of this dialogue going on, and he just said, "Just do it. I want you to do it." And I was okay, you know. Wow. And so I went up to my dad and I said, "Dad, I think you know this is the decision I want to make." And he said, "Wherever the spirit's leading you, uh, wherever the spirit is telling you to go, you should follow it." Wow. Yeah, and I said, okay. So, and I got baptized a week later. So he has a lot of trust in God, doesn't he? Yeah. So, yeah, and it was it was great. And then so I got I joined the church. I had a big baptism and everything and I started reading up really on a lot of LDS doctrine and I became really a firm believer. I'm like, if this is true, I want to learn everything I can about it. Well, wow, yeah, you do seem like you yeah. t- tackle that kind of a project. Oh, yeah, I was I was ready for it. And yeah. uh it, it came to a point where I learned so much of it, I was like, it has to be true. You know, because in the box of the theology, it all makes sense. What were you reading? What were you studying? Oh, conference talks, McConkie. Were you? Really? Yeah, just doctrine, uh, like uh, doc- uh, principles, doctrine. What is it? What's Mormon the book called? Mormon doctrine? No, mm-hmm. not Mormon doctrine. It's the gospel principles. Gospel principles, you know, that's yeah. It. Yeah, gospel principles, just all that stuff. and Gospel essentials is mm-hmm. another one. That, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. And uh, I was reading, you know, the Book of Mormon, Doctrine and Covenants, just anything I can really. Wow. Yeah, and so. And you and you spend quite a bit of time doing this, yeah, don't and you? It was, yeah, and it was, it was just, I was hooked to it, you know. It was <laughs> awesome. And then um, eventually it got to a point where I was, so I said to myself, it has to be true. I, I mean, it's, you know what I mean? I believed it, but I didn't, I couldn't be like, oh, I know. And you prayed about it, I guess. Did you get the warm feeling that yeah, it was I true? Yeah, I mean, or? it wasn't like a feeling. It was just kind of, I observed everything yeah. and it just all kind of clicked. You know what I mean? Okay. It wasn't necessarily like I got this, you know, warm. Well, Mormons do have great uh, values. and Yeah, and, sure. Yeah. And that's so probably it's what easy to really, attract good people. Yeah. And, and that's what yeah. got me, I think. Yeah. And, uh, and in that... Um, I just, so I became kind of really high-headed, and I started kind of looking into anti-Mormon stuff a little bit, because I'm like, what are their arguments? Because I don't see any arguments, you know? And then... How did that happen? I mean, just, what, what, 
You you were aware that there were anti Mormons out there? Oh yeah, yeah, I was aware of it, but oh. I just kind of got I just got cocky about it, and I was like, oh, I can take on anybody, you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, and I hated their arguments because it was more it was just so attacking, and it just you didn't it feel was like, more it like was, yeah, like I was like that's not worth my time, you know. Yeah. But then that's when I think that's when I found Sean, and I liked him because he actually Sean, brought up Sean McCranny. Sean McCranny, and that's when he brought up a good argument and everything, and so that's what I was. So I started listening to him a little bit. And then I, I just thought to myself, I've been spending so much time in this LDS doctrine. I'm going to study on the Bible. I'm going to focus on that because I can, I can do, I can quote things out of like Book of Mormon scripture and stuff. But I want to focus on the Bible. And what drew you to that, particularly? Was, because that isn't something the Mormons would have pushed yeah. on, on you, right? No. I mean, no. the LDS doesn't they, like use the Bible some, but it's not like mm -hmm. go home and read your Bible. Type yeah, thing. it was. I don't know. It was kind of just out of I want to learn it. And really? I wanted to get good at it, and it was. I think. I think too. It was also a challenge of I want to support the church out of this book too. Yeah, that, it was kind that's of like happened before. Yeah, too. it was kind of like that also, and so then I kind of I started studying it, and I started seeing the differences, you know, yeah. and, and reading it, and I'm like, oh no, and then I got. I ended up getting Sean's book A to Z. Oh yeah. And uh, read, started reading that, and then at this point, I was like, "Do I?" It was kind of like nearing my mission time. Do I go on a mission? You know, your friends were going, weren't they? All my friends were gone at yeah. this point. So, yeah. do I go on a mission? And it was, it was kind of the same with the baptism. I still, I had now these like bigger doctrinal kind of issues, but then it was, I, I the same feeling like it I was, should go on, or yeah, not feeling, but uh, it was that intellectual like yeah. God telling me go on a mission. Go on a mission. I'm like, why? You know, it was kind of the same like, why do you want me to do that? You know, like. You know my issues with this. <laughs> go on a mission. All right, fine. Go on a mission. I went on a mission to Argentina. Got called to Argentina. Got called to Argentina. Yeah. And uh, now you went through the temple. Went through I the guess. temple. Which temple yeah. did you go through? I went through the Gilbert Temple Gilbert. my first time. Okay. Yeah. So, what did you think of that? I thought it was interesting. <laughs> you know, I, it didn't... I mean, I kind of knew. I knew what was going on in the temple because I looked it up beforehand. Yeah. Oh, you did? So, yeah. So, I mean, it wasn't... But I didn't, like, look at... I didn't, like, watch, like, the whole videos on it. I just kind of wanted to see what it looked like in there. Right. So, with all the details and stuff, I had no idea. But with kind of the gist of it, what okay. you wear, I kind of had an idea. Yeah. So, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it was... Not too many surprises then. Not too many surprises. Like, looking at the kid next to me, he was, <laughs> he was like, what am I doing here, you know? But uh, yeah, I, it was it was a little awkward for me because yeah. just like looking around, see my whole ward there, uh, you mm. know, was, hey. a lot of support. Yeah. Well, and that happens especially when a young man like you. How yeah. old were you when you were con baptized? Seventeen. I was eighteen. Or? Eighteen. Eighteen. So you're yeah. kind of a, a popular person at that moment. I mean, a lot I mean, of yeah. converts could be come into the church mm -hmm. and. And yeah. They, did you were you asked to speak a lot and kind of I was only talk asked to, to the youth speak. or anything? Yeah, I was only asked to speak. I remember my first talk was in state conference. Oh, was it? And there was yeah, it was yeah. a huge crowd there and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so that was my first talk. And besides that, I, not really. I didn't really talk that much. I mean, yeah. So you get out on your mission, and then what happens? So I got out on my mission and uh, just kind of running through it. I went through the MTC, and then it was awesome because these my whole district was was guys was elders so i mean they and didn't they're all headed to argentina so most of us were a couple yeah. of them were going to california and nevada and stuff yeah. and um so i mean it was cool because i felt like i got to plant seeds to them because they were they knew i was a convert in my story you know so what other churches what do other churches believe you know and you were able to share with them yeah so it was cool about, like about I, what jesus well it was or? about it was more about doctrine and jesus and kind of you know atonement what the christian's perspective on atonement is and and I had actually Sean's book with me, A to Z. So I was pulling scriptures out of that. I was, you know, nobody was looking. I was flipping through them. I'm like, okay, okay, you know. And uh, that's funny. Yeah. So I got to share with them, and then eventually I got out to the field, and um, and it was great. I loved the mission. It was it was a great experience. I loved yeah. being in the diversity of culture and everything. It was so fun. You were learning lots, of course. Learning lots of things. Spanish. My, yeah. Anything, my yeah. companion didn't speak any English, and mm. uh, it was. I liked it a lot. It was yeah. challenging, but I liked it. And yeah. uh, so what happened was I finally realized I was kind of talking to God the whole time in my head. I was like, why do you, why'd you bring me out here? You know what I mean? Because it got to a point where I was reading Preach My Gospel, and I'm like, I can't even go past one line, one sentence, and be like, and not have an issue with it, you know? And um, And then one day it clicked, and it was when I just reflected on everything, and I saw the business side of 
the mission you know how many oh, the door knocking how many the, yeah how many, how many lessons, lessons they want you to teach what our how goals are for this month and stuff yeah. and it just seems like a number game to me yeah and i said this is not what it's about you know and did you uh, sense that it was all about jesus or more about the church more about the church absolutely yeah yeah it was yeah it too. was there was no i didn't see it i mean obviously jesus is talked about sure. without a doubt it's I in mean, the name of the church but exactly <laughs> yeah but I, it wasn't revolved it didn't feel it revolved around him you You're know not trying to convert people to jesus, to jesus. it was to get you into the church as right. a membership type yeah. of deal and I, it just didn't interesting i didn't click with me so i emailed my mission president i said hey i don't think this is working out I went down to the mission home. We had a discussion. He said, just give it one more week. I said, fine. So I go back one more week later. I email him again next P day. Hey, no. Well, did you share with him? What What were you sharing with him? So I told him. Your I testimony? Said, I mean, well, I said, or what concerns about Jesus or the mm -hmm. Bible or Joseph Smith or what was it? So I said, I told him I had doctrinal issues with the church. He goes, oh, you know, kind of thinking his head easy. Like, okay, what doctrine? You know, we can, we can get through this. Uh, and, you know, in my head, I'm thinking just, you know, it's like everything, you know, and... Did you um, sense that he... Now, was he American? No, he was full oh, he Argentine. Was... He didn't speak any English and everything. Oh. So this is all in Spanish, this dialogue. Oh, and, that must and, have been challenging. It, was, it wasn't It was challenging in the beginning, but once we started getting more argument, yeah. and like more of an argument, it was like, hey, bring, bring him Did one of the Did you sense that he knew any answers to some of these <clears throat> questions you had? No, because it was the same rhetoric that I've heard from... It's the same, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's the same kind of, you know what they're going to use on you. And I was prepared for that. For their, argu for for their arguments. For yeah. their arguments, yeah. And I, and I knew what he was going to use, and I knew how to kind of counter it. So well, Anything specific? I mean, we're yeah. about arguments? I mean, what were you talking about? We, uh, Book of Mormon archaeology? Or no, 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 no. Or Joseph it was, Smith? He brought up baptism. He said, he said, what do you think about baptism? I said, I think, he goes, do you think you should be baptized? And I said, yeah, absolutely. Well, I said, and I said, well, it depends of the water or the spirit and he said both <laughs> and i said well i just believe the spirit i don't believe in water he goes well what about jesus you know and then i kind of gave him my intake on that you know well it was a jewish ordinance you know what i mean to be washing, yeah, washing yeah. Yeah. yeah and um so it was kind of like that and he was getting he was getting ticked he was getting red in the face and oh, dear. it was getting bad and uh eventually he just said we'll go talk to elder brock because he was from the states and he could speak english we could talk about elder it elder brock was he one of the assistants yeah he was president? one of the ap's and he was a, he was an awesome guy i said that yeah and uh and uh we talked and he was a convert as well oh so he can maybe unappreciated what yeah you were and he was through. really open-minded about everything and he yeah. was yeah he was really he was a good guy and uh you know, towards our com towards the end of our conversation, he goes, you know, it sounds like you made up your mind. Um, uh -huh. You know, I, he's like, I understand if you want to go home. I'll tell the president, you know, and okay, cool. And so he did that. And, and so I came home later that week and, yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, so do you think your background with your family eventually mm -hmm. came through or... Just what? as you studied the Bible, that you started seeing a different Jesus, I'm assuming. I mean, yeah, it was more of studying, yeah. I think. And that's, oh, and that's, see, I, I kind of breached over my parents. See, so again, yeah. um, during the time, I kind of, I kept it a lot of it personal. I didn't really talk to anybody about it, but I emailed my parents about it. And, um, especially talk, about the decision to come. Yeah, I said, sure. you know, I said, this is how I'm, I'm feeling and this is what I think. And, you know, it was awesome because they were totally supportive of both directions I would have taken. You know, I remember them saying, you know, if you want to come home, awesome, we support you. If you want to stay out, awesome, we support you. And my mom actually wanted me to stay out. She said, well, she could you stay out and just preach Jesus and bring people to Christ? And I said, I would love to, but honestly, it's not that easy because they, they're they so demanding on well, what Well, the lessons you aren't geared that way. You're, exactly, You're supposed yeah. to present Joseph yeah. Smith and current prophets and Book mm -hmm. of Mormon and the plan of salvation. Exactly. And, and, I, and I We just, can become gods. I yeah. Know they don't talk about that. But, but it's kind of implied, implied once you've done the row when you, you know, kind of learn Fascinating. more. Fascinating. And yeah, so she just. And you said no. I, I said I, I would love to, but I can't. It's not that easy, Mom. Yeah. I just, you know. Well, you'd be called into the mission president's exactly, home yeah. all, or office all the time mm -hmm. if you were doing that. Yeah, and it's funny too because I remember I would just read the Bible the whole time in my personal studies, and my companion would say, "You got to read the Book of Mormon." He's like, "He's Isn't like, read the funny? Book of Mormon," and I said, "I like the Bible." And he's like, "Just read the Book of Mormon, man. Why don't you ever? I'd never see you read the Book of Mormon." I said, "Well, I'm just. I like the Bible. I like reading it." And I said, "You should probably read it." And then. <laughs> And then he said, I don't know, and then we just kind of babbled on, and I don't know. I actually had somebody, I, that was too long of a story. But anyway, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I just am fascinated with uh, with your courage and your mm -hmm. 
fortitude and did you yeah. have you talked to your friends about this too then the ones that yeah. went out on missions so i yeah that week that i came home i emailed all my friends and i told them you know what kind of happened they're all really supportive they said you know we love you yeah. like we're here for you and stuff and except i got a bad response from one of them but that doesn't matter and then <laughs> um but yeah but all of them except for that one they were really they were really supportive and stuff and coming home it was a lot of the people were really supportive too did they kind of anticipate that you'd come home and maybe reinstate yourself with the church or i think that you, was, did, you did keep going for a while you said i well there was kind of a block where i didn't go and then one i would say when my friends started to come home that's when i started Again, to kinda, social probably yeah, the social part of it that's when i kind of went to like more like like family home evenings with the ysa and yeah. stuff and but it was yeah and i went to sacrament you know but did you just, ever go back through the temple Oh, no, no. They took away my recommend after I came home. But oh. My mission president took it away from oh, me. Oh, he did? Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought that was oh, interesting. Oh, apostasy, I guess. I guess Is so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so. You think about the questions. I mean, mm -hmm. you were, I guess you weren't believing in Yeah, I guess I couldn't President answer. Yeah, I, exactly. I couldn't sustain the, the first presidency and stuff, so he took it away, and yeah. Oh, it's so fascinating. And, and so what are you doing now? So right now, I go to a campus church. Okay. With Sean McCranny and... Uh, yeah, and I'm kind of involved with them, and I like going. And yeah. I'm, Again, I don't know if you can really compare. Maybe you never moved into the Mormon Jesus concept, did mm -hmm. you much? What See, did you think about him? Did you think he was your elder brother? No, and, I couldn't. I didn't necessarily grasp that whole, you know, I always kind of uplifted him as God. You know, even... That's awesome. I could never, I never really, and it's weird too, because I, I never really heard that preach as always oh, your brother, you know what I mean? It, obviously, when you think about it and that theology, it makes sense. So oh, you yeah. never heard in the in the plan of salvation they didn't start you out in the preexistence, where mm -hmm. where there's a council in heaven. Oh yeah, and yeah, Jesus they did and, and stuff, all that, but, and he was our elder yeah. brother and stepped up and. Mm -hmm. It was know. like thrown in there from time to time, but it yeah. was never, you know, it was never kind of thrown in your face. Yeah, you know, it was so, never yeah. like always preached upon like oh, he's okay. our elder brother. You know, anything but, else you've learned that's been kind of interesting. And gosh, you know what? There's only a minute left. Oh my! See, it goes, <laughs> it goes it flies so, by. It goes so fast. Um, what was our what was the question? Is there anything? Yeah, any other kind of things that you've just? I mean, mm -hmm. have you ever? I mean, things just kept kind of adding to the problems of sure. Mormon doctrine and history, don't yeah. you think? Polygamy, oh, yeah, yeah. Once you masonry, really study the facts, it was really it was really crumbling. Yeah, it just it was falling apart. It fast. just doesn't hold up. It does doesn't. It? No. So, yeah. and what do you think God meant for you? Gosh, if you can, real quick, why did God put you on this journey? So I believe God put me on this journey to seek Him. I really don't think I would have and done And to help with... others, maybe. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Because here's a young man yeah. who's, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I mean, because I know, because I, growing up as a Christian, I didn't necessarily didn't seek God. Him. I believed Him, but I wasn't thirsting for Him, you know? And going Praise through God. this whole thing, it, it really brought me to seek him and to understand him and to test everything. That's awesome. Yeah. Larry, thanks awesome. so much for sharing. We'll see you next Thank time. You. Thanks. <laughs>